So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So you'll remember back a few months ago, we did the, uh, the unboxing review of the Snap-on Edition Latrax Traxxas Little RC Car Twin Pack. And uh, I had bought that to, in a good faith act so that my Snap-on dealer would do this footwork and get me the X-Max. And finally, I have an X-Max. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's not the first X-Max. I have... Uh, I have another X Max, but we'll talk about that shortly. So yeah, I got this off the Snap-on dealer. Now you can't just go buy this truck. You can't go to a Traxxas dealer or your local hobby shop and ask, uh, "Oh, get me a Snap-on limited edition Traxxas truck." No, you you had to get this one of like two ways. You either had to you know find one on eBay, you had to win it because that's what this was all about is a raffle from Snap-on. They actually have a, a raffle going on this year, and I have my scratch off raffle tickets right here. I have five of them I've yet to, to deal with and scratch off. And uh, what they're giving away this year is actually a snap-on tool truck version, 20 LED lights, but the same, the same X-Max truck inside. And uh, there's some neat stuff going on with it. But yeah, the only way to get this was to win it, uh, to find someone on, on eBay or something who had won one, or buddy up spend a lot of money with your snap-on dealer and they'll do the footwork to find one and uh, I guess what they do is uh, a bunch of dealers get together they come up with like fifty thousand dollars and they they buy a couple of trucks or they buy the trucks now what happens is everybody that all the dealers that buy into it they get one of these to raffle off and typically they get one for themselves they get one to collect for themselves and a lot of the tool guys are just older guys. They haven't got the time to play with them. So they'll sell them sometimes as an incentive to buy a box. If you buy a, a brand new Snap-on toolbox, they'll throw one of these into the deal to sweeten the pot. Or uh, in my case, I asked my Snap-on dealer to go over his network and find me one. And he found me one six months ago and one today. And here it is. So why don't I stick you guys up on the head cam, we'll get this thing unboxed, take a look at it, see what comes in the package, see what the package looks like, and, uh, and talk about some do's and don'ts and maybe some stuff you want to do to any old X-Max. So let's get you guys up on the head cam. Well, all right, here it is. Uh, I'm going to have to get a little tricky unboxing this thing because it's pretty big. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is just the weight of it. It's uh, in the box, it's almost past what my cart can hold. So uh, yeah, about the box, it's a pretty cool box itself, got some nice artwork on it. Uh, you can actually go on eBay and find just the box for this, the Snap-on limited edition box for $150 to $250, depending on how many are on there at any given time. But uh, yeah, the front of the box, the rear of the box is another cool poster of the truck shredding it up. Pretty cool. And uh, actual size picture on the top there. That's what the truck looks like. There was a couple different versions of these. There's the black one. There was a red, white, and black one. I think that was a 6S version of it, which is very rare. And then, uh, we look on this side, and we got the limited edition. Uh, this one comes with a charger and two batteries. If you were to buy these at a hobby shop or whatnot, it's not going to come with a charger. It's not going to come with the batteries. Basically, just the truck and the remote, and uh, you source those yourself. Uh, this runs two three cell or two four cell batteries. Um, Snap-on only comes with three cells, which some people kind of criticize them. But I think they did that just to keep the price point low. And we got a lot of the uh, options the truck has with it. The box a little beat up. Uh, it's all right. I'm probably just going to put this box up there with the other one. Uh, 30 volts uh, speed control. This thing has like a... Oh, what is it 80 amp continuous uh, 300 amp burst it can pull uh, amazing amount of power from the batteries uh, upgraded drivetrain from the 6s uh, torque biasing center drive it has open differentials and a somewhat open center diff but you have so much power and these wheels are so big that you really don't even really need locking diffs uh, Dual fan cooled motor, uh, really good brushless motor that's called the Vanillion. I don't really know much specs off the top of my head about it. Uh, it comes with a wheelie bar, which if you're going to run this four cell and you're not really good with, the, with RC, uh, you're going to want to keep that on there. I actually take them off. And then I think that's it for the, the packaging. Uh, and then another little poster with all your warnings, uh, officially licensed product stuff, skill level six, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's cut the factory seal here. It's 
figure out how to. So I wonder which way's up. If I had to guess, I would say probably this way. So handy dandy carts. Uh, bear with me here, guys. There we go. All right. Here's the moment of truth. Can't go back. Oh, more tape, more factory seal. Oh, hold on. We're upside down. So, oh, look at this. Here it comes. And then we got our TQI remote. This is really cool too. This is uh this remote has uh, a Wi-Fi dongle you can get that goes in the back and you can have uh you can have a Traxxas dashboard which is really neat. Let's see if we can get to it real quick. And then you have a Traxxas link system. This is the link. It doesn't come with this but you can uh, you can get the the, mo the dongle that goes on the back it's uh i think that's 40 50 bucks for that and then there's a bunch of updates you do but you got a uh, real-time speed rpm temp uh, battery life customizable you can change uh you can change settings steering sensitivity you can do servo reverse in the garage and all that really cool app i'm still kind of learning it myself but uh we'll talk about that in a minute too and uh let's see where would the batteries be all right that's it for the box yep, here's uh here's the warranty information the toolkit and extra spur gear some uh, allen wrenches and a special wheel lock uh wheel nut tool um some stickers if you want to put them on all the information good stuff to have good stuff to have now all right looks like the batteries are on this side you know what, I'm going to pull this top off. Ah, oh, smells minty clean, minty brand new. Let's take a look at that. Now, the only real snap-on addition thing, uh, the stickers. They just got some stickers on the factory, over the factory stickers, really ghosted on there. Kind of cool. Uh, the bodies are very valuable. It's probably more valuable than the whole truck. But uh, I don't care about that. We're going to... We're going to have some fun and scratch that up soon enough. So, and there's the Easy Peak Dual Charger and two 5,000 milliamp hour packs. Uh, really, the smallest packs this truck can run. They kind of cheaped out on it, but I think they did that just so they can give you everything you need. Uh, I think the reasoning behind this is uh, the, the people most likely to win this truck, to get this truck, or who it was intended for may not necessarily be hobbyists and want to go out and get all of this so snap-on made sure that their edition comes with all that and look at there it is now i like that they uh that they zip tie it down because the suspension is so tall on it that they would need a giant box now uh need some cutters here Cutters, cutters. Oh, my plier drawer. Everyone's plier drawer is always the worst organized. Ta da! Rise. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And there it is. Look at the size of the shocks on this thing, huh? Almost as big as my hand. A lot of suspension travel. And let's uh another thing I want to talk about this truck. Now, how many of you guys had RC trucks, remote control trucks, and had to deal with those little clips to clip it in, line and all that up? The track the, the X Max has a really cool blocking system, and that's it. It's as easy as that. Unlock it comes right off it kind of fits like a like a car underneath so you just slam it on there 
and you're ready to go. No dicking around with it. So look underneath. Not a lot going on to get hung up or bashed off or broken. Uh, these things are tough as nails. We'll talk about that in a second. So let me show you the older version or the older one I had. This was the first one I got off of my Snap-on dealer. This would be the one that goes in that box up there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Now let's talk about stuff that I've done to this. Um, you're going to notice right off the bat, I have another set of wheels on it. That was the first thing I had to change. Uh, one thing Traxxas doesn't tell you, and let me grab this one, is that these wheels, they say the truck is waterproof. It says right on the box, waterproof. However, there are little holes in, hopefully you guys can see it, maybe not, but take my word for it. There are a few holes, two or three holes, maybe two, in the rim. And what happens is if you go through water, water gets in those holes and gets inside of the foam inside of there. If you don't notice it, the next time you hit high speed, the water will go to one side and completely blow the tire apart. It's got that much power and that much speed that, uh, you know, being a, a one sixth scale, not a one fifth scale, it just, you got to be aware that there's a lot of centrifugal force going on. So that would be the first thing that went wrong with it. And that went wrong probably in the first three or four times I used the truck. Uh, this is the snap-on body. I've kind of, you know, bashed the crap out of it. It's uh, got a little damage on the body. Uh, it still holds together. That's probably the, the next thing I'm going to have to change. Uh, cracked around the Amesies decal, but it is what it is. We'll pull this off, and we'll talk a little bit about it. First thing I did um, is I got a set of the Traxxas 4-cell 67 milliamp batteries now. These are the four cell. This is the, this is what you need to get it to 30 volts to get it to do 50. It's really fast with the the three cell batteries, but this is just another level. Uh, this thing rips it up off road like a little four wheeler. Uh, the, the the roost it'll 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 throw. Uh, unfortunately, we can't go for a ride in it. We can't take it out and use it. The weather's just real nasty. Plus, it's getting dark out. But we will be taking these trucks out and, and giving a good thrash on the new one, probably this weekend. Um, yeah, so other things that I've had go wrong with this truck. The steering has gotten really loose lately. I don't know if there's something inside. Is, is, it needs to be tightened. I haven't really taken it apart. Uh, this truck here is probably going to get an overhaul soon, and we're going to be using that one more. Uh, one other thing I had happen to this is I was using it, and a, a branch caught in here, and I bent one of these shock shafts. All I did was take the shock off, put the shaft in my vise, bent it by hand, and uh, I think it was this one over here, and it works great, no leaks. I probably got about 30 miles on it since that repair, uh, and that's been fine. So, yeah, other things I've had, um, the speed control. Uh, I've had some issues with the speed controls. This one here worked great in the beginning. This is the speed control that came with this truck. And then probably halfway through my usage of it, I'm going to say maybe... Uh, Maybe in 15, 20 runs, uh, the speed control will go into an overheat mode and it won't let you run it even though the, it's not overheating. Sometimes I'll be using it real easy and then uh, I'll go hiking with it, be out in the woods maybe five or six miles down a trail and I'll have the speed control go into a fake overheat and it won't come out. You'll let the thing sit overnight for it to come out of it. And I'll tell you, it, with the batteries in it and all on it and wet and some mud on it, this thing probably weighs close to 40 pounds. And to carry this thing out of the woods is just not a fun experience, but uh, it is what it is. So anyways, well, all right, guys, there you have it. Everything that comes in a brand new Snap-on limited edition X-Max. And uh, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. I'm not going to tell you how much they are because I don't want to make the old lady mad at me when I get home. You know, I, I don't want to sleep on the couch. So I'm not going to tell you what they cost, but uh, they aren't cheap, that's for sure. But they, I, I, I bought all the tools I'm going to buy off the Snap-on dealer for a while. And I had paid off my snap-on bill. I pay, actually paid off all my tool bills. And I figured it's about time for me to buy something that, you know, maybe I can use out in the woods. And that's where I go when I use these things. I don't run these around the parking lot. I don't run these around my backyard. They are much too powerful and much too fast for a, a yard. Or even the big lot we have here in the shop is way too small for these things. You get these things up to speed, and, uh, and, and it's a lot, of, a lot of weight, a lot of RC truck flying around. So... We'll get these things out in the woods in the very near future and uh, we'll romp on them. Um, now that 
touch a little on how I use these. Like I said, you, they're just not something you're going to use in your yard. It's way too much. I go for long hikes in the woods I grew up in. And in these woods is where I learned how to be a mechanic. Uh, we would get dirt bikes and four wheelers. And later on in my early teens, we would get old cars and, and trucks and whatnot and just beat them out in these woods. Uh, when I was real young, my, my father and all his friends had lifted mud trucks. They would go down all these trails. But in the past 20 years, they totally put gates up. Uh, they totally put the kibosh on that. And you can't go enjoy these areas the way I used to enjoy them. There are a lot of very beautiful places to go, but a lot of long trails to get there with not a lot to look at. And what I'll do is I go hiking with these. I'll have it in front of me and just uh, just have a blast with them, running them up the hills or jumping with them or uh, and exploring with them. We found, I found a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff I didn't think was out in those woods this last year. I took you guys along for a lot of it. And uh, we're going to be doing some more trips this year. And that reminds me, uh, I'm looking for a couple of smaller YouTube channels, a couple of small YouTube guys that maybe want to go out in the woods and explore some of these woods, find these old abandoned cars, abandoned areas, and just have a, have a blast with the trail trucks. I got, a, I got the smaller trail trucks. You guys remember the Ascenders. Uh, I got the, uh, the newest Traxxas TRX4, too. So uh, if anybody out there is interested in going for a little trail ride with me someday, let me know. I'm out pretty much... Uh, Pretty much every Saturday afternoon, I try to get at least four hours a week of me time out in the woods playing with these trucks, and uh, that's how I distress this time of year. Pretty much uh, any time of year that I, you know, I ain't wrenching on the Sonnet or the, the 96 and all that. So, yeah, great fun, great fun, RC trucks and uh, Snap-on Edition. It's kind of amazing that there are two of these in one space at the same time. They're, uh, they say, rarer than hen's teeth. and. These sure are rarer than hen's teeth. It takes me a while to get them from the Snap-on dealer. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Question and comments, I love them down below. Thumbs up are much appreciated. And on that note, and until next time, guys, keep it out of the cabbage. <laughs> Way too much truck for in here. <laughs> like a bull in a china shop, boys. Like a bull in a china shop. All right, before I break something, like a lift post. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.